In this exercise, we are going to calculate the effective mass of electrons in the conductance band for different semiconducting materials. In order to solve the problem, we're going to use the k.p theory, which is a perturbative solution of the Schrödinger equation. Um, it can be used to approximate the band structure around extrema. So in our case, we're going to use it for the conductance band and one obtains an expression for the um, approximate expression for the conductance band dispersion, which um, depends on the band offset. Um, then there's a term for the uh, free electron dispersion where Me is the free electron mass. And also we have this factor here where P is the momentum parameter and EG is the band gap. Um, more details about this uh, k to p theory and uh, derivation of this equation can be found in the book Semiconductor Nanostructures in chapter 3.5. So um, one can see that um, by comparing this to a free electron dispersion um, that the only difference is basically this factor here and so one does, what one does is to incorporate this factor here into the, into the electron mass such then that one obtains an equation for an effective um, electron mass which uh, looks as follows. So this is the equation we obtain for the effective electron mass and if we just plug it in into the equation over here we um, get a parabolic um, dispersion relation for the conductance band electrons. Um, however, um, these um, charge carriers, they do not have the free um, electron mass, but an effective electron mass, which is basically um, due to the interactions in the system. So um, now we can use this equation here for the effective electron mass and um, the uh, band gaps um, of the semiconductors um, as uh, given on the exercise sheet um, such that we obtain um, the following results for the effective mass. So in this table you can see the results for the materials gallium arsenide, indium arsenide and indium phosphide. In the second column there are the calculated values where um, for all the materials we used that this expression here is equal to 22 electron volts. Um, in the third column you can see the measured values which are um, in reasonable agreement with the calculated values. As uh, we always used um, the same um, value for, for, this, um, for this expression here, um, basically the effective electron mass uh, will only depend on the band gap, which you can see here in this equation. So um, the effective masses directly resemble uh, the band gap of these uh, semiconducting materials.